Hello viewers, this is Mathematics with Dr. OJ. In this video, we shall solve some questions that are related to search theory. Don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button below the video and the notification bell so that anytime I upload new video, you'll be daily notified. Thank you. Now, example one says, in an examination, 18 candidates passed chemistry. 17 candidates passed physics, 11 candidates passed both subjects, and 4 candidates failed both subjects. Find the number of candidates that passed chemistry only, 2 candidates that passed physics only, and 3 candidates that sat for the examination. Now let us try to itemize the parameters that are given in this uh, question. Now, we are told that 18 candidates passed chemistry. So let's the number of those that is solution. Solution. Let's n of c represents those that passed chemistry. Chemistry. So, which is according to the given question, 18. Okay? Now, we are told that 17 passed physics. Let N of P represent those that passed, that passed uh, physics. So, that is according to the question, 17. Okay, now 11 candidates passed both subjects. So without wasting our time, N of chemistry intersection physics is 11. Okay, and four candidates failed both subjects. That is, um, N of failure is C complement, intersection P complement, which is what? Um, those that fail both subjects, according to the given question, we are told that um, they are four. Okay, so which is four? We should note that this is the same thing as number of chemistry union physics uh, complements. Okay, using the Morgan's uh, theorem. Now the question says we should find the number of candidates that passed chemistry only. Now. How do we know those that pass uh, chemistry only? Uh, what do we do? Uh, what you are asked to find here is we are asked to find number of chemistry intersection physics complement. That is chemistry only. That is chemistry without uh, physics. So this is the same thing as number of chemistry minus number of chemistry intersection physics uh, from our basic uh, formula. Okay, now this will be and how many of them pass chemistry? We have 18. We have 18 for chemistry, the minus those that pass both according to the given question is 11. So number of uh, uh, students that pass chemistry only is uh, seven, uh, seven. Okay, now the second one we have to find Number of those that pass uh, physics only, just like we did for chemistry. That will be number of physics intersection chemistry complements. That will be what? Number of uh, you know, physics without uh, their point of uh, intersection. Okay. Now, number of physics, according to the given question, is uh, 17. The minus the intersection is 11. That will give us 6. Okay. Now, candidate that sat for the examination how many candidates sat for the examination the total candidates that sat for the examination that is going to be you know the summation which is the universal set so we are asked to find number of chemistry union what union physics okay and we know the number of chemistry union physics will be equal to what number of chemistry plus number of physics are we together yes minus number of uh, chemistry intersection uh physics okay that is what we are asked to find there that's those that actually sat for uh 
the examination in total. Now, let's look at this. Those that actually search for heat could be, if we, if we have to be very careful here, is number of chemistry. Number of chemistry is what? Is uh, 18, then plus number of physics, students 17, then minus the intersection. What do we have as intersection? Now, we know very carefully here that the point of intersection is uh, 11. So, that's going to be 35 minus uh, 11. At 5 minus 11, that will be what? That will be uh, 24. So, from that uh, information, we have those that uh, actually search for, we, as far as this uh, formula is concerned, we have 24. Now, meanwhile, meanwhile, we know that since we are given those that do not participate in the examination as well, so we can conclude that since those that the brain diagram covers is what? Is 24. And we know that we know that um, um, the number of you know uh, uh, chemistry union physics plus you know number of chemistry union physics complement is uh, the universal set. Okay, you ask how? Um, because the the those that did not do or did not pass both subjects, they are they are not within they are not within. The, the circuits of chemistry and physics, the outside. So as, as a result, they will be counted as well as members in that set. So now number of uh, chemistry union, uh, you know, uh, physics will now be equal to 24 plus, now those that did not pass at all, there are four, which is the universal set. And the course, you can say the number of universal sets, okay, now, that implies 28 is equal to the number of uh, U. Therefore, the total number of students that uh, sat for the examination, total number of students that uh, sat for the examination, sat for the examination is uh, 28. Okay? Now, another way of doing this, we have an alternate way of doing this. We can use our vein diagram. We can use our what? We can use our vein uh, diagram to confirm what we have actually done. So we draw our vein diagram. Okay. Now we have this to be for, for chemistry. Okay. We have this to be for physics. Okay. And we have our universal set here. Right. So. We are told that those that actually sat for that, that past chemistry, they are 18. So that means for this circle, is for 18. Those that um, pass physics, they are 17. And 11 pass both subjects. So now let's take 11, which represents those that pass both subjects. 11. And since we are told that the total number of students that uh, pass chemistry is 18, the, the entire circle here is 18. But then you subtract 12, 11 from 18, it will be left with 7 here. Likewise, for physics, those that pass physics, according to the given question, they, they are 17 altogether. And 11, because this is for this, this, this circle is for physics. Okay, this circle is for physics. So if we take 11 out of it now, because the entire circle here is for physics, is 17. Taking 11, uh, 11 has occupied part of physics, so we'll be left with what? 6. And we are told that those that failed, they are outside the uh, concentric uh, circles. Okay, I mean they are outside the circles rather. So now the universal set here now. This is number of elements in the universal set. Number of elements in the universal set. We know what? Four plus seven plus eleven plus six, and that is what eleven plus eleven. That is twenty-two. Twenty-two plus uh, six. That is twenty-eight. So in this case, uh, the number of uh, students that sat for the examination is 28 that is that about uh, that so please don't forget to subscribe to my video uh, channel by clicking the subscribe button after the video and the notification bell so that each time i upload a new video you'll be duly notified thank you god bless you